Hello and welcome back to Bampton Insight. In this video, we're going to give you an insight into Bampton specific exercises you can do off the court to help improve your performance on the court. Yeah, we're going to be in the gym showing you five exercises and also here on court to explain how each of these will improve areas such as your strength, speed, muscular endurance, explosive power, as well as, of course, reducing the risk of injuries. And these are exercises that the best players in the world are doing on a regular basis. So let's go to the gym for exercise number one. The first exercise is an activation exercise you can do at the start of your weight session. Here, you set a cable machine to around chest height. But if you don't have this machine, then don't worry. You can use a TheraBand or a dumbbell. So for this, you hold the cable with both hands, then lower into a lunge position, bring it close to your chest, and then press it straight out in front of you. Do eight repetitions, then repeat this on your other leg. And as we mentioned earlier, you can also do this with a TheraBand or dumbbell. So why is this exercise so good for badminton? Well, it's great for activating your core and strengthening your lunge position so that you can play better shots from here in a game, rather than collapsing your core and losing control of your body and therefore shot. Here's what you might look like if you don't do this type of exercise, compared to after doing this exercise. That's the practical application. Back to the gym for the next exercise. And this is a single leg weight transfer. Here, you stand on one leg, hold a dumbbell, bring it out to the side of you, then bring it to the middle, transfer it to your other arm, and bring this out to the side of you. We recommend doing 10 transfers and then repeating this on the other leg. So let's go to the hall to show you why this exercise is great for badminton. Well, most importantly, it's helping you improve your balance, which is crucial for many aspects of your game. One, it allows you to land with more control, like in your jumps and when moving side to side. As you can see, having better control allows you to recover faster and therefore move faster. Two, having good balance and being in control of your body means that you have better control of your racket, again, enabling you to hit higher quality and more accurate shots. And three, it helps minimize the risk of injury because this exercise helps strengthen the muscles in and around your ankle. We thought about putting a clip of people rolling their ankles here, but decided against it. Training your balance little and often will also have a compounding effect over time, helping you in day-to-day -day life, like when standing on a train. The weight transfer is also great for conditioning your shoulders. It strengthens the muscles in the back of your shoulder, which are used in the acceleration and deceleration phase of many shots in badminton. And because you're training having your elbow out with more resistance than the weight of a racket, you won't have any excuses to have your racket by your ankles. And because of this, you'll be able to take shots earlier and never get tired of doing so. Now, as we all know, badminton is a sport that requires fast changes of direction and explosive movements. And this is why we always include plyometric exercises into our weights training. So let's go back to the gym to show you a great exercise you can do. This is three skater jumps followed by a tuck jump. The skater jumps are where you bound from one leg to the other, ensuring you're not collapsing your knee and you ideally want to have a reasonably short contact time with the ground. So why is this exercise good for badminton? Well, studies along with our own research have actually shown that the majority of our movements on court, whether that's takeoffs or landing, are performed using only one foot. And you'll notice this too if you watch others or yourself playing. Conditioning yourself to these movements in a controlled environment will build up your strength and confidence to be able to push off and change direction explosively whilst also being able to land and recover well in a match. The tuck jump at the end then adds an element of coordination, going from a single-footed jump to double, and it will also help you improve your jump height too. And of course, you can also do badminton footwork in the gym, but we want as many people as possible to do these exercises, and we know not everyone will feel comfortable doing a jump-out smash in a busy gym, especially if you're trying to make friends in there. Okay, so far we've shared an activation balance and plyometric exercise. Before we move on to a lower body strength and upper body strength exercise, we wanted to let you know that we've just launched some new badminton specific weights programs on our website. There's now 12 different programs, all designed specifically for badminton players by experts in the field to help you improve your on-court strength, speed, explosive power, endurance, and minimize the risk of injury. There's over 100 different exercises with video and written demonstrations for each. They also come with both a printable and online tracker to track your progress. And in the bundle, there's also two badminton-specific circuits and two hotel gym workouts 
for when you have limited equipment but still want to improve your game. These are the programmes we're doing every week and we've also had great feedback from you guys who have been doing programmes 1 to 8 for the last two years. So if you want to improve your game too, then check them out on our website badminton-insight.com and we'll also include a link in the description below. So for the lower body strength exercise, we're doing another lunge based exercise as this is such a common movement in badminton. And this is badminton lunges with dumbbells, where you do diagonal lunges whilst holding a dumbbell in each hand. You should focus on keeping the lunges explosive, moving fairly fast both into the lunge and also out of it, whilst of course remaining in control of your body so once again you can play better shots. Adding extra resistance with weights will help your ability to absorb the force in the deceleration phase of your lunge, which then helps your ability to recover back into core. And we'd recommend doing between 8 and 16 repetitions, depending if you're focusing on muscular endurance or more explosive strength and power. And don't forget to repeat this on your other leg. Even though you shouldn't lunge forwards with your non-racket leg, I repeat, shouldn't lunge forwards with your non-racket leg, it's important that you don't have too much of an imbalance. Hopefully you can now see the benefits this exercise will bring. So let's move on to an upper body strength exercise for badminton. When playing badminton, you use your shoulders a lot. For most people, too much smashing on the court, as well as lots of time at a desk hunched over, can pull your shoulder forwards. This can cause impingements in your shoulder and a lot of pain, so balancing it out is very important. And one way you can do this is by strengthening the muscles in the back of your shoulder. Yeah, there are many exercises for this, but one common one we do is a dumbbell row. You can do this with one knee on a bench and the other foot on the floor to give you a nice strong base and good posture. You then need to lift your arm up in a controlled motion, focusing on squeezing your shoulder blade and not just using your bicep and forearm, otherwise it's a fairly pointless exercise. Again, we'd recommend doing between 8 and 16 reps on each arm. Often, people go too heavy with the weight, so don't worry about impressing others with what you can lift. Try and impress them with your form instead, because this will help you much more on court. And as with all of these exercises, if you're new to weight training, please be careful and make sure you start with light weights and focus on having good technique. We don't want anyone injuring themselves. So let's head to the hall for the last time to show you the badminton benefits this exercise will bring. Yeah, so as well as helping to counter those muscles in the front of your shoulder that are pulling it forwards, this exercise will also improve your control in the deceleration phase of your smash, which we know is very important. And it will also give you more strength in your backhand clears, drops and smashes. So they were our five different weights exercises that will help your performance on the court. And don't forget, if you're looking for complete programs to do, then check out our badminton specific weights programs. The link is in the description below. And lastly, if you've enjoyed this video, please drop it a like, smash the subscribe button if you haven't already, and we'll hopefully see you on another video very soon. Bye.